What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. I have another video for you guys today. I said I was gonna put out two videos yesterday. I was only able to put out one, so I decided to make it up for tonight with another video. But for this video, guys, I do specifically wanna speak about several different uh, you know, important things in the market, but more so focused around the names that you guys do have interest in, the names that you guys have been asking for in the comment section of the previous video yesterday, and of course, the one that dropped earlier today, all right? So if you haven't yet, guys, smash the like button, smash the head of that like button, engage with the video if you're new here, watching for the first time subscribe to the channel the content and the quality will stay good let's keep it going here so let's kick things off here with bitcoin okay we have ourselves a few different dates here as we head towards the halving that i want to make sure you guys have a good idea of the historical reference behind those dates all right so kicking off here with a halving all the way back on uh, in 2012 a halving all the way back in 2016 a halving all the way back in 2020 another halving coming up in 2024 now you can see here from that first having, you did see an increase of roughly, let's just take a look here. Over 365 days, you saw an increase of 10,000%. That is absolutely crazy, but you did see this thing go from 10 to literally 1,012. The second having, you saw uh, the price action go roughly, we're talking about roughly here, uh, up 3,000%. Okay, from the, th uh, from the third having, let's just say we got this right. We saw it go up roughly 634%. This is roughly in 300 to 365 days. Um, so the interesting thing is, you know, if we were to see something on the lines of a few hundred percent over the next 60 few days here, let's just take a look at what that would look like, right? Let's just scroll out here. If we're going to say, um, let's see, let's move this down here. Let's just say we're going to increase you know, 300% over the next 365 days here, just simply based off of the historical reference, right? 300% over the next 365 days would roughly be about 242,000 by June 2025, right? That's roughly where we'd be. That is absolutely insane. Uh, you know what? Funny thing is, it should roughly be May 2025, but I did start it uh, on next month uh, just because it's it's near the end of April. Anyways, point being is that is something along the lines of what we've seen in the past. Doesn't mean this has to happen this time, but that would not be a shocker. That's actually that would actually be one of the lowest increases of Bitcoin that we've seen so far from a halving cycle. If we were to see something more extreme, um, for example, let's just use the last halving cycle as an example here, right? So um, from June 2020, we saw it push up 600% over the next 30 days here from bottom to top, right? So even that, I mean, from where we are right now at 64,000, you know, 365 days here, 600% uh, would roughly be at about 400,000 per Bitcoin. 400,000 per Bitcoin over the next year. That is insane. That, that is what people have been talking about. That's the message I've really been trying to get across that. It does not mean that it has to happen, but it is worthwhile taking a look at if you have not yet. Now, if you're new here, I expect at this point in time to, to understand that we're going to talk about some quality content here. So, of course, subscribe to the channel. If you've been here for a long period of time here, let's break down a few different things here on the actual stock market right now. So, we'll, we'll bring this back, guys, as we do approach the having. I do want to cover more of this, but this was some of the things you guys were asking about in the comment section for the last video that I hope this uh, visualization can help really break down for you guys. Cool. On to the next one, CVNA here. A lot of the meme names right now are looking interesting. Um, we had a nice little buy day here. If we do see rejection below 74 bucks here with CVNA, CVNA, I am going to be looking for some continuation on the downside. Broke back down, see a lower high here. I'm going to look for a move back down towards said gap. Now, of course, if we do not get rejection below this level here, I'm not going to jump the gun because I really be looking for an entry off of rejection or a breakdown below the previous day lows, which is roughly below that, you know, that uh, that uh, $68 level here, one or the other. If we see it move above, right? So let's say we move above, the price actually moves above uh, 74 bucks. And then we come back down and use 74.20 as support. I think we're going to go the opposite direction here. And this would have been a fake out breakout towards the downside, catching a lot of short slipping before ultimately squeezing this thing back up towards its 52 week highs. Okay. So, you know, the rejection or the support level being reclaimed as support would be a very interesting look to keep in mind. All right, guys, move on to the next one. Dell to me is a very interesting name here where I did have calls for Dell. Uh, last week Friday that uh, worked out pretty well and then we end up selling off so the next thing that I'm looking at for Dell here guys is really a move back up towards uh, that one 
30 level here. Now, the interesting thing for me is that, you know, this has been a name that I think has always been on the right track, but because the market has not been the smoothest thing over the last few few days here, it's been hard for Dell to get a, a solid breaker here. The way that SMCI did move late in the day does have me interested in looking at several of these semis, including Dell, um, as we do move forward into the back half of this week, which is the earnings from TSMC. So anyways, guys, Falling wedge here into a previous level of support. Still looking, looks like it's holding pretty well here. Had a you know a lot of buyers step in and had a pretty solid day today, finishing up 2.7%. If we could see anything above 122.50, I'd be going long here towards 130. Okay, TSM they do have earnings this week. One of the biggest earnings to really kick off earnings week. Um, I think it's interesting here. Um, you know we did see a decent amount of volume stepping in here from the gap down. I was personally looking for a move back down towards 134. You guys are already aware of this, um, but I'm not going to chase it. Um, you know, as people probably chase that gap down to kind of play push back down towards 134, 135, I'm not going to chase this move here. I want to see what happens when it can reclaim um, back above that 145 level here. And let's just see what happens in this range. This is the range where I think it will be very interesting. It's going to be make or break where we can have a slow sauntering move back up here. You know, in my personal opinion here, that would be a lower high and we'd be seeing, seeing move down here. But if I'm wrong, let's just say we, you know, we don't quite see that, then I would have to see it break back above, you know, 146.70 and hold above that level there. Very similar to CDNA. You really got to see some sort of previous levels of resistance turn to a level of support to give you some sort of confirmation that, okay, now there is an upside and I know where my risk is going to be. I'm not simply just jumping into a play because I feel like it looks good, right? Um, okay. So we have those few plays here, guys. I also do want to take a little bit of a larger look here, not into Tesla, my apologies, into some of the mining names here. Now, they don't look great at this time, but the way that we covered over Bitcoin and the way that they could be seeing a substantial upside here, I want you guys to think about this. From a fundamental perspective, and I'm not a fundamental trader, but from a fundamental perspective here, if we do see upsides of Bitcoin for anything more then 100%, then each and every single one of those companies are much more profitable than they were just a few months or just a few weeks prior. It's still yet to be seen what is going to happen with the price of Bitcoin. So I feel like there's a little bit of uneasiness with a lot of these miners because what they're going to be able to reap as they get rewards from these miners is going to be cut in half. But if the value is more than double, they'll just be simply a lot more profitable. So that to me is interesting enough to keep them on a very close watch list. But that is what got my attention right now. Okay. Now, of course, we did also see Jimmy today have a positive uh, green day today. We also saw AMC have over a 10% green day today. So several of the meme names are starting to have a, a nice bounce in the market. And it's coming at a very interesting interesting time because the spy as you guys know here hasn't really been having the most in bullish days here but uh let's just see how this week ends let's just see how this week ends all right guys so that's what i got for you guys today thank you guys very much for tuning in if you guys haven't yet of course smash the like button engage the video if you guys want to live share with us guys link in the description below to join into the base people training community we're having a great time in there for everybody else i will catch you guys tomorrow and also please feel free to subscribe to the tmi live channel because we will be going live for the earnings season in the after hours starting thursday with nokia and TSM. Uh